Hello from Shrix and hello from Smartherd. What's up folks? Welcome back guys to the part 3 tutorial of notifications in Android. Now in this video, I will continue my coding of normal view regular activity notifications in Android. Now in this video, we will add the functionality to this notification. When the user will click on this notification, he will be migrated to the activity B. Now since this is a regular activity notification, so when the user will press the back button, then this activity A will be visible. So let us check out the codes. So in the last video, we wrote the codes inside the show normal view notification function. So this much code was sufficient enough to generate the basic notification that I showed you in the last video. Now let us proceed further. Now let us add the intent which will make user migrate to activity B when the user clicks on that notification. So, so our next step is to provide the explicit intents for the notification. So let us define an intent. Let's say I equal to new intent. Now inside it, let's type activity A dot this to what activity B dot class. Fine. Now instead of starting the activity, what we have to do, we have to follow our next step which is actually to add the back stack using the task builder and set the intent to the pending intent. Fine. Now if you remember guys, this is our regular activity. So inside the regular activity, we have to add the back stack using the task builder. Now let us write the codes for that. Let us initialize a task builder. Let's say stack builder equal to task builder dot. Now guys, there are two class of task builder. In order to make our notification compatible with all the versions, please select Android support v4.app. Do not select this android.app package. So just select Android support v4app. Hit OK. Dot create. Fine. Now inside it, pass the context, this, fine. Now after that, just type stack builder dot add parent stack, fine. Now inside it, just type activity B dot class, right. Now after that, again stack builder dot add intent I, fine. Now. After this, let us initialize our pending intent pi equal to, let's make it as pi main stack builder dot get pending intent. Now let us set the request code as zero and flag as pending intent dot flag update current. Fine. Now after this guys, let us add this intent to our builder. So let's type builder dot set content intent. Here I have to give pi main. Now if the user will click on this notification then it will be migrated straight to the activity B. But still our codes are incomplete because we have not modified yet our manifest.xml. Now what are the changes that you have to make inside the manifest file? I will just show you. Now inside the manifest file we have to declare the activity B so as to make our application work smoothly. Fine. So this was our basic concept. So let us write the tag activity. Now inside the activity tag, let's type, let me scroll it down. Yeah. Name of the activity dot activity fine. Now, now guys from the activity B, when we press the back button, then which activity should open? We have to give the name of that activity. So we just have to use the attribute parent activity name which is actually what activity underscore a fine now inside the activity tag we have to provide a metadata let us write that metadata fine let us give the name android dot support dot parent underscore activity fine now after this, let us give it a value dot activity underscore a fine. So, so inside the manifest file, first I have declared the activity B right now. I have provided a backstack activity, which is activity underscore a. 
Now guys, it may be main activity or any other activity that you want to choose. It is totally up to your wish. Now here I have provided the metadata. Fine. So these are the compulsory steps that you have to follow if you are using the regular activity in case of notifications right now. Let's go back to our activity a.java. Now here let's save our application and let's check it out if we are not leaving anything. Yes, all the steps I have followed. Now let us do one thing. Yeah, everything seems to be fine as of now. Let's save it and run our application. So our application is running. Now let's click on the show normal view. Yes, it generates our notification. Now hopefully everything will work fine. Now let us click on this notification. Bam! Our application is successfully running. So when we hit on that notification, this activity B gets opened. Now here at the top you can see there is a back button. Now as I told you guys in the first tutorial of notification, in the regular activity if you press this back button then the parent activity which in our case is activity A will be opened. Now let us hit on this back button. So as soon as I clicked on this back button this parent activity which is actually the activity A gets visible. Fine. So in this video we have fulfilled our objective. On click of this notification we are able to see the activity B right here in front of us and when we hit on the back button this button we were able to see the activity A which depicts the feature of regular type of notification. Fine. Now in the next video I will add the two buttons settings and help and on the press of these two buttons these will independently show two different activities settings and help activity right so till then guys if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below my video this is shrakes from smart Herd signing off and thanks for watching have a good day thank you